whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. What's up? Someday show. Oh shit! We're <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're doing it this way again because number one, it's hot as fuck in my house. <laughs> my AC does not work currently. We're doing this for y'all guys. We're doing this for fucking y'all. We are doing this for y'all straight up. And uh, well, if you guys go to my Twitch.tv forward slash jrx 4 x and go sub to me, maybe I have some money, you know, to go buy some uh, AC uh, stuff. AC money, hold up. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm Jerks. That's JP. And, of course, this is Lowe's. What's up? <laughs> so, today, uh, of course, we're going to talk about Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame. Oh, yes. my God. And we're not going to be, like, pussyfooting here. We're going to go straight to spoilers. Yeah. So, if you haven't seen the movie... Get out. Do not watch. Do not watch this. Do not watch. Now, I didn't watch the movie the day it came out. Like, it's like on a Thursday. I missed it on Thursday, on Friday, because I was not trying to sit in the front fucking seat and look up. You went Saturday morning? I went Saturday morning. What? What time? Nine in the morning. I I went out Thursday at 11, 10 p.m. I was there till like, I was there till like 2.30. That's nothing, nothing, like 2.40. I was there Friday night, 11.30. The movie did not start till 11:45. We were there till like two something, two thirty, two yeah, in the morning, something like that. Yeah. Okay. So basically, this movie is long as fuck, and uh, it's three hours. It's three hours. Yeah, I saw it in IMAX. It was, it was pretty cool. Uh, all right. So we're gonna talk about it. Spoilers again. Last warning. If you haven't seen it, go away. Go away. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Here we go. Let's begin. So first off, we all know. Let, let's go into our worst. Let's go into our like worst parts. Okay, worst part. okay good. Okay. Okay. So uh, what's your what's the <laughs> part you did not like? Just to give a quick review. The movie was was good. Um, it it there's, there was a lot of plot holes I felt in the movie. Uh, where? Uh, the plot hole number one being um, how the fuck did they know where everything was at the pinpoint location? Because everybody in that group at one point or another had uh, contact with one of the Infinity Stones. Yeah. That's how they know. What are you talking about? See, if you're a real Marvel Universe yeah. movie fan, you'd uh, knew that. You'd know that. Uh, whatever. Point is, uh, how um, how when they all met together at the end of the fight, uh, Captain Marvel wasn't there. She said at the beginning that she would, you know, well, she's taking she care of other planets. Well, they all have like a little thing where, where, where Scarlett Johansson like invites them all and they all show up. Why didn't she fuck? It's because she's OP, man. She's too powerful. Uh, whatever. I just thought it was that. That was stupid. And actually, you're right. Because uh, at the end, I was like. Uh, you know, when she popped up again, I was like, oh, that's right. I had completely forgotten about her, to be honest. She's coming. <laughs> it was tight, though, when she started destroying the ship. It was tight. And then, uh, uh, I think, not only do they have plot holes, um, I, me personally, other people, I, I, I can see why they did the ending the way they did. Basically, they're... R.I.P. Iron Man. R.I.P. Black Widow. R.I.P. Captain America. Uh, R.I.P. Oh, well, the urge of R.I.P. Yeah, they didn't kill Captain America. They aged him. They made him he, old. He, he might as well be dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hulk is out of commission with that one fucked up arm. Nah, he can still do stuff. Nah. So for, <laughs> to me, to me, uh, I feel like they basically finish off. It's the Avengers is over. Like from now, it's the new Avengers or whatever yeah, the fuck. That's the whole point of this. And um, essentially, for me, the the worst the worst parts I saw, in my opinion. Um, what the fuck is Pepper Potts doing in that fucking battlefield? She's not no Iron Woman. The fuck? Like, this shit was so stupid, she just pops up. And then Captain Marvel's like, I'm going to fight Daniels. And then all the girls are like, yeah, she's not alone. And they do that whole female power up thing, uh, pushing agendas and shit. And then... Uh, that was pretty cool. That was never before seen yeah, ever. I, I Anywhere. Thought was, I thought that was pretty good, except for Pepper Potts being there. Everything else... <laughs> well, I mean, to complain about Pepper Potts, I think, is kind of like old. Like, you, you, you complained Iron Man 3, so 
No, I mean, at, really at, this point, at this point, we already established he just doesn't like her. Yeah, <laughs> I, I get it if you don't like Pepper Potts, but to complain her appearance, that's you're complaining about Iron Man 3. <laughs> there was another, there was someone else though, uh, Black Panther's sister. Uh, yeah. Come on! But she's a genius. She's so. the smartest person. Yeah, now that Tony's not that, not that. Uh, well, okay, she's one of the most genius people in the world, and that's been established. If you don't like that, go back to Black Panther. Uh, she's one of the smartest people in the world. So yeah, for her to build some stuff, for her to be competitive, to be, you know, a superhero. Yeah, that's totally viable. Uh, I, 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 I thought that was dumb. And then um, the thing that I despise the most, I think, was. You have, you have Bucky. Everyone knows Bucky is the next Winter Captain, Soldier. Uh, yeah, which is Winter Soldier. He's the next Captain America. Like you know this in the comics. In the comics. You know not in the movie this. universe, but in the comics. In the movie universe, he gives it to the hot guy, the hot guy who's never no, thrown the a shield. The hot, the hot Falcon. guy who's never thrown a fucking shield in his fucking life, never. And somehow he's the next Captain America. I I don't get that. Um, it's his best friend. <sighs> whatever. And then uh, not only that, the way Scarlet, the the the, uh, the Black Widow dies. Yeah, let me let me go into that. To me, that's one of the parts that I dislike most was when Black Widow and Hawkeye are fighting over who to kill. No, you Who's kill gonna yourself. kill yourself? No, you kill yourself. No, you. It's no, to, you. to me, it's just no. dumb. Like no. it, it's corny. Now, that's as bad as the movie gets to me, and it's just corny. So it's not like I really like the movie overall. It's just I think that's one of the corniest p spots. Um, but all right, let's go. Y'all want to talk about our favorite parts? Uh, well, just some other things. I, I just felt like Disney. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, like, I felt like the, the, the finishes, the, out of this movie, the, the one previously before where Thanos kills half everybody, I thought that was better. I thought it was a Infinity lot more. War. Uh, Infinity War was a lot, lot better. I just felt like there was, sh like Disney made an emphasis on pushing certain things throughout this it only movie. A couple of scenes. But. Yeah, it was a couple of scenes. Um, the moment you see that, and I don't care what you guys say, uh, you see they're they're having a meeting because uh, of course you know everyone's moved on. It's been. I think that's Joe Russo, one of the directors. Yeah. If I, and then he's like, yeah, I went on a date, did it, and like everyone's like, okay. How, you didn't have to mention anything. Oh man, how was your date? Oh, don't worry, man. Next time. Yeah. No. 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 He, he, he said he, and I'm yeah. like, okay, that's fine, but what does that scene have to do with anything? They're trying to move past their no, grief of everybody dying. But if you have Captain America doing that or doing something, I get that. But what was that scene specifically about anyway? Was about showing that Captain America, him himself, is trying to help everybody, but in reality, he still yeah. has problems moving past it too. It's a, it, the part has has sense in it. I disagree. It's not that good. I thought that scene was, didn't have to be in there. And I thought glad, it was, I'm glad they actually showed regular people because a lot of these movies you don't really see the regular people, yeah. and that's one of my knocks with the Marvel universe is other than the scenes where they're destroying cities, you don't really see regular people. Uh, in interactions with them like you don't one thing that every movie shows when there's like world destruction is the news I didn't see one like news thing showing this is what you know no uh, it's always locked in on the point of view of the avengers and i okay that's cool but i kind of like the fact that they did show some regular old citizens like and them going through stuff uh, okay uh, like i said those were the things that i i, I did not like um, what did you like? What did I like? I really like the fight scene where everybody comes in and fights. I thought that yeah, was, I thought that was pretty I cool. That was the best part. Um, the way um, and of course they have to do Mbappe, Mbappe, Mbappe. I do Mbappé. that stupid shit again. Um, and then uh, of course, I think what my favorite scenes were probably with Thor and his fat ass. Oh, thick uh, Thor. <laughs> that, the way he cries, the way the, rac uh, um, the raccoon slaps the shit out of him. <laughs> hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come, come, come here. Come. No, no. Come okay. Here. Yeah, yeah. But come, come here. Come here. Wow. <laughs> so I thought that was uh, Thor had stole the spotlight on a lot of things. And when he talks about Jane, he was like, oh, it's one of my, one of the women I used to date. He's like, we had a thing, but now we don't. And the guy's like, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, I actually like too that they brought back Natalie Portman for that, but yeah. because apparently there was like yeah. issues for, with her. Yeah, that's one of the thing is that um, which I really like is they brought a lot of like 
those old school yeah. characters. I'm surprised Natalie Portman came back because uh, yeah, there was some shit early on in the in that first and second movie that obviously she didn't come back there was some drama but she did come back for this movie which is really cool i thought that was really cool um uh w one of my favorite parts was uh, has to you know or just overall the hulk i thought was really cool the fact that they was like a oh, mix of banner and yeah professor hulk oh that's so but cool i did not see him fight one scene i saw him fight in the end uh but it was just kind of like generic you know, rah, you know. I, I feel like hulk has been tossed away for what Hulk is, uh, especially in the comic books, what Hulk, the, the threat that Hulk is. And I, I disagree the way they went that route, but hey, uh, we're talking about things that I liked. Um, from not only that, the way they went back to the future, the, the, the past, and, and I really- Oh yeah, when they went back to the past, it went to past. the first Avengers the first movie. Avengers, yeah. And like, uh, you see that scene where like the camera, the camera's panning around them. I was like, damn, it's so nostalgic now. Yeah, and uh, it's hard to believe it's been so long. And then not only that, just uh, to be able to see the growth of Iron Man, I didn't expect that for him to have kids. I thought that was pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, that's one of my favorite parts is that, and it shows like, you know, he has something really, he was, and him and uh, Pepper talked about it in one of the scenes where like they got really lucky, they lucked out. You know, a lot of people lost their loved ones and they gained, you know, so, um, you know, when they're asking him to do the time uh, machine, basically, the quantum realm machine, whatever, um, you know, he didn't want to do it. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I really like that. And, you know, them killing, I, I called it in uh, before. I thought Iron Man was going to get killed. I always saw it. He's the beginning. And I feel like that's how they were going to end it, too, with him. And sure enough, uh, man, I, you know, hey, you know, it, it pulled some strings when... when he died. Yeah, when he died. Cause, did, you know, it, wait, did any of y'all cry during any of this movie? No. no. Yeah, so liar. No. I didn't cry. Michelle was like the one crying. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it. You you feel right. It's not like we didn't like, we didn't I, care. I feel. I feel. I felt. I'm gonna go ahead and say y'all lying, but go ahead. No, I I felt like because I knew I knew going into theaters that both of them either had to die or both of them had to leave one or the other. And what I mean by leave is either leave out of the universe or or die. Um, both Captain America and Iron Man. Those oh, are, those okay. are the staples. Um, so I expected Iron Man to die. I think the way he died is a badass way. In other words, the fight scene at, at the end of Infinity War and the fight scene at the end here where he he tricks uh, uh, Thanos and Thanos is like, I am an inevitable. And then he's like, what the fuck? And then Iron Man's <laughs> like, no, I'm Iron Man, bitch. Yeah. I thought that was poetic on everything that he's done. Uh, yeah, but we, That's the last thing he said in Iron Man 1. Yeah. But I think that uh, Robert Downey Jr. is just getting old, man. Sorry, guys. No, and uh, he's the one who started this all. I mean, I have mad respect for him as an actor, as Iron Man. Because um, the part at the very beginning where he's super skinny... Like, he put acting. That's old school Robert Downey Jr. For your, both of these young people had never seen Robert Downey Jr. before the cocaine and all that. Um, I mean, I'm just being serious. It was. Uh, he was a fucking amazing actor. Like, this dude was, was an actor. And he showed it here at the very beginning. If you don't notice how skinny and thin, he put that himself. He did that to his body for the movie. So, I felt like props to him. Um, moving forward, uh, I, I felt like... Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought it brought a it brought a stupid dynamic back because okay, I understand that Gamora came back from another timeline and he's she's in their timeline, and they like she doesn't like uh, uh, Quill at all anymore. But it's like, dude, this is getting old. Like he already made out with her, he already got her, he already got it in. Like, bro, let's move forward. You know what I mean? But we'll see what happens. Um, well, Guardians is one of my favorite Marvel movies. Uh, Guardians one for sure, top five. Um, I, I like the spins in the movie, the twists. I didn't see the time traveling coming, the quantum realm I coming. Didn't see that. I didn't see it coming. Uh, I didn't see that Thanos was gonna find old school. Thanos was gonna find Thanos. out what they're doing in the like. That was yeah, pretty that cool. Was um, th them going back to the original movies and and going through that. Uh, Captain America fighting himself. Uh, so I, I really like some of those oh, things. Shit. There he was fighting uh, America's ass. Yeah, <laughs> and so man, just some of the some really cool scenes. Overall, I don't think it's you know the best Marvel movie. I think it's up there, top ten for sure. Um, 
Uh, man, seeing uh, Spider-Man and and uh, and Iron Man back together, man, brought some feels. Man, that was to me the saddest part when Spider-Man is you know holding on to Iron Man and. You know, just, you know, we did it. You did it, you know. I'm just cold-hearted. Because I, I was like, I was like, man, these motherfuckers should waited this long. If these motherfuckers would have done this a lot earlier, we, I remember we wouldn't have to die. We would have yeah, had more movies. Time travel, to figure it out, it's not the easiest thing, man. Yeah. Well, that's yeah I mean, mean by that is like, essentially they had to go this route because the actors are getting old. I mean, they, I'm they, they, they I'm not Chris, about Chris the Evans about. and Robert Downey Jr. have both expressed like they didn't want to do it anymore. They didn't want to do it anymore. So, yeah. I'm, but basically, so it, it was supposed to happen anyways. But it's bound to happen. Well, I, it, it, overall, it was a good movie. I'm not gonna say it was great. It, I, I feel like there was too much yada 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 yada. Not enough of pow pow pow. Um, it was too much yada yada yada. There were some scenes that I could give two shits about. Um, and uh, uh, one of those is Scarlett Johansson fighting for 10 minutes with Hawkeye to see who the fuck dies. I thought that was stupid. Uh, one of the best parts. Uh, that was dumb. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, I, th I feel like uh, the parts where... Um, I Her dying, though, I do feel like... Don't get me wrong. I like... Uh, um, I like her. Uh, I felt bad when she died. I just think the manner that they did it was kind of corny. Is all I'm, is all what I think. I don't understand how you guys are getting that conclusion. How it was corny. It was corny. Like they both are fucking no, you negative people. Yourself. Both. Oh, no, you. Both of them you are. Oh, stop. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> it wasn't that. It was I'm gonna kill myself. If you're gonna do it right, do it right. Anyways, I'm kill well, what, there you what, go. What, what, what do you think about them? Anyways, these both of them are are murderers. Both of them have had a shitty past. Both of them understand. Yeah, we about, they never made a movie for Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, shit, that's a whole different thing. But <laughs> but I mean, you knew these things about them. Even Hawkeye, like uh, after he lost his family, he went on a super like rogue spree and started murdering all these like drug dealers and shit. So like for him, it made more sense to me for them to kill him. Instead of uh, Scarlet, That's what I said. but no, well, he's the one with the family, and Black Widow has been all about the Avengers. I understand that? Like I saw, I life, saw so. that. Like I saw that. I saw why they didn't kill him after like the snap. He got his family back, and even if the snap and they succeeded, what would Scarlet have back? You know, nothing. Yeah, it, it would have been the same for well, her. Well, she would have had the Avengers, but, but still, no, but but, I, like but I, okay, I, hold on. But you guys are saying it was stupid of them to fight for who was going to kill themselves to get the Infinity Stone. And the way they did it. Like, why don't you shoot her? Because She's they both, like, I, I, the way I see their relationship is like brother and sister. So for them to see one of them to die, nah, bro, like, crazy. like, no. Like, for one, <laughs> for one of them to see the other person die would be too difficult. And they would want to choose themselves over it. I get it. But I, I don't know. I mean, it, maybe we're cold blooded. I don't know. I don't think so. No, because don't get me wrong. I, I, I felt, man, Black Widow, when she was down there and she died and she, she gave her life. Like, cool. It's just, I think, the way they did it. But whatever. Uh, overall, I like the movie. There were just very minuscule, part, um, you know, small parts that I, I was kind of like, oh, about. But for the most part, I really loved the movie. And, and you know, for my wife to stay up throughout the whole movie and, and keep attention means that the movie, you know, was was good. It's keeping people's attention throughout the whole three hours. Uh, it did keep my attention. I just felt too many yada yada, more action. No, I, and I, I see why they did that because they're, you're ending it. You're ending... This is the end of not the whole, but a lot of people's role in these movies. And so you want to do it the right way. So you're putting in the dialogue there, which I was intrigued for the most part. There were very small parts where I'm like, uh, but and then I can't even remember most of them. Holes. Just too many. You can go on YouTube and you can see how many oh plot my holes. God. I don't think this is a done. fucking a comic book movie, man. This isn't fucking the uh, National Geographic where you got to find out exactly where everything is from. And this ain't science. This ain't hey, Earth, hey, planet Earth, all right? If you want to. If you want to see a fucking uh, non-fiction movie, go watch that. Game of Thrones has no plot holes. Please, bro. If you go, you could go find YouTube and no, more videos on all the plot holes and all that shit. No, don't give me that, man. Don't give me that. It was a good movie. No, rate it. Let's. Hey, yeah. Let's overall rate. rating for you guys. Uh, I say 8.5. Oh, eight? 8.5. 8.5? I think Infinities was like oh, 9.5. That's great. That's not good. The movie's good. That's great to me, but uh, uh, I give it a, you know what? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I was going to give it a 9 as well. All right. 
Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Click the bell, hit the bell, like, subscribe, send money to Elias. We need this AC, y'all. We need this motherfucking AC. Now, 8.5, 8.5. 8 there you go. Uh, Zach, well, you. It's I still a nine. You. It's an 8.5, guys. I override it. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 is like 9.5. 9 5. So, yeah. you know. My favorite. Guardians yeah, Gu one, Guardians 1 is 9.5. No, I'll give it a 10. Just give it a fucking 10. That music, that soundtrack is still a legend. So I'll give this one a 8.5. 8.5. Eight five. Eight five. Like I said, 8.5. I'm fair. I'm always fair. All eight right. Five. Tell us what you guys think. Uh, comment, like, uh, share. Uh, you know, tell us what you guys were rated, what were your favorite parts. Let's spoil it. It's spoil time. Let's spoil this shit. Spoil it in the comments. Let's go. Yeah, if you haven't seen this movie by now, you fucking trash. Like <laughs> then, okay. You need to get a job. That's what you need to do. Yeah, All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, see ya. Man, that sex Please. scene was crazy, huh? Oh my.